Are you going places or left behind because you don't have a travel companion? Listen to how you can travel more independently. Dr. Travel Best will bring you the best answers, tips and her mistakes so you can benefit. This independent travel episode focuses on Nashville, Tennessee. Welcome to Dr. Mary Travel Best's Independent Travel Guide. We share the travel tips and guide you, sharing my mistakes along the way. In this episode, the FAQ is, one of our group members has second thoughts about overseas travel. The destination is Nashville, Tennessee. The mistake is packing a glass bottle in my suitcase. And the tip is minimalist travel. Here's the FAQ. So you guys, I'm having second thoughts about my first solo overseas trip to Paris in October. I emailed the agency I rented the apartment through to cancel today. And now I'm having second thoughts about canceling. I'm a conflicted mess. Talk me off the ledge. I just can't decide what to do. Cancel or go? Well, thank you for asking the question. You know, this is a challenging time right now for all of us who are traveling, especially for those who are traveling on independent trips like yourself, and especially when you're going to faraway places like Paris, France in October. So they say that there's going to be a second wave in the fall, and we really don't know. So it's all a matter of how much risk are you willing to take? Now, I was able to travel in May to Denver, Colorado and back on Southwest Air, rent a car, spend a week somewhere that I hadn't been before. But that might not be the same as your conditions for Paris. October's a few months away still. Why don't you check with others in your circle and check again with the agency and just ask what are your options? I would hate for you to miss out on a trip to Paris, but again, you might be best to take some smaller and local trips in the meantime instead. Today's independent destination is Nashville, Tennessee. My first trip to Nashville was just a quick stop when I was in high school on the way to Florida. I don't remember much at all, but in 2020, I decided to take the plunge and see it again. This was March, right after they had some terrible storms and right before the USA was closed for the corona. Someday soon, you'll be thinking of visiting there. Here are a few of my thoughts about seeing Music City for yourself. I found it a great walking city, especially because there was not a lot of public transportation. I think you'll like visiting for two or three days. Now, if you like music, there's nothing like walking up and down the downtown honky-tonk places, all with free entertainment That's right, free live music. You can visit dozens of spots just in one night, taking it all in. Broadway Street is the place. Now, if you like something else, the pedestrian bridge for sunset or any time is its life. It's just off Broadway, and it takes you over to the football stadium. Music City is the Grand Old Opry's home. It's just a few miles outside of town. I really enjoyed walking around the hotel there. It's a conference center, but the indoor horticulture and hanging people-sized guitars made it authentic to me. Yes, there is a Country Music Hall of Fame, which I went in briefly but didn't stay, and the Bluebird Cafe, well-known for making songwriters famous, it's a little bit outside of town and it's really small. So if you want to go there, you should probably get there a few hours before they open. That's right, because we didn't get in there. What we did instead was we found some great restaurants in the area around Germantown. I also want to recommend the Nashville Farmer's Market. It's large and it's partly indoors. It had some terrific wines to taste from the region. I walked about five miles each day just in the downtown area. And I highly recommend visiting, enjoying the street art, the food, and especially the music. You'll find something to do here, even if it's just people watch. Check out the show notes for more on Nashville and also check and see what's open. Today's mistake was packing a bottle that broke. I packed a bottle of Kahlua in my luggage. It broke. Was that ever a mess when I got it in Chicago? Never pack liquids in glass containers without proper protection. 
they will always break. And it's stinky too. Show notes have tips so you avoid my mistakes. Today's travel advice is being a minimalist. Minimalist travel means you bring the very least you can, especially toiletries and things that you may not need. For example, if where you're staying has shampoo, then you don't need to bring it. A reminder that if you have liquids more than 3.4 ounces, you can't carry that on. The first and most important rule is carry less stuff. The second rule is reduce weight and combine uses when possible, like two items into one for multiple uses. Today, I want to bring meaning to your travel. So thanks for listening. And if you want to know more, you'll find Dr. Mary Travel Best just about anywhere on the web and social media. And helping women travel best is my goal. So if you send me your travel questions, I can help you too. And you may even be featured in my next book. If you're looking to travel best, go ahead. Let me know what's on your bucket list. What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is. 